नमस्कार बंधुगण वेलकम टू माई यूट्यूब चैनल साहिल एडुकेशन एंड एम साहिल बिफोर किलिंग एन ऑफ टाइम जस्ट स्टार्ट विद द टॉपिक बायोमालिक्यूल्स एंड बायो केमिस्ट्री बायोमालिक्यूल्स आर बेसिकली द केमिकल कंपाउंड्स द केमिकल सब्सटेंसेस केमिकल मॉलिक्यूल्स प्रेजेंट इन आवर बॉडी एंड दीज आर द बेस ऑफ आवर लिविंग इफ द बायो मालिक्यूल्स आर नॉट प्रेजेंट इन आवर बॉडी देन वी विल नॉट बी अ लाइफ एट ऑल and then coming to biochemistry biomolecules have been done then coming to biochemistry biochemistry is the branch of science which deals with the information with the knowledge of chemical reactions going on at every moment in our body so there are lot of biomolecules like uh, carbohydrates proteins uh, fats and uh, some more proteins uh, some glycoproteins and uh, other things are there let's start with the topic carbohydrate here carbohydrate uh, today we will be discussing about carbohydrates definition uh, carbohydrates we have to uh, go through the carbohydrates definition types uh, and uh, its uh, different isomers uh, its uh, different uh, different structures <coughs> associated and all uh, so today basically we will be learning about uh, the definition of carbohydrate only today we will be learning about the definition of carbohydrate only so let's jump to the carbohydrate if we see the term carbohydrate it is a mixture of two words one is carbo and another one is hydrates carbo means carbon and hydrates means the chemical compound which contains water the chemical compounds which contains water so it is carbon and it is h2o containing substance okay so basically carbohydrates are the substances in which carbon is somehow associated with water if we see the definition of carbohydrate or if we go to see the definition of carbohydrate we have earlier studied that carbohydrates are uh, compounds composed of carbon hydrogen and oxygen in which carbon's number is not n number and hydrogen and oxygen will remain as water and it will be as m number m where n and m is not equal to m necessarily it is not necessary that n is always equal to m n should not be equal to m also and in the same way we have seen a definition like carbon hydrogen and oxygen the ratio of carbon hydrogen and oxygen in any carbohydrate will remain as 1 is to 2 is to 1 in this definition we'll see the ratio of hydrogen and oxygen will always remain as 2 into 2 is to 1 but another definition says that the number of carbon hydrogen and oxygen will remain as 1 is to 2 is to 1 ratio okay but these are not the proper definition of carbohydrates these are not the proper definition of carbohydrates because there are some compounds there are some compounds which are which follows this rule the hydrogen and oxygen ratio will remain as 2 is to 1 but these are not carbohydrates there are some non carbohydrate compounds also well in this example that is fucose it is also called as rhamnose it is not fructose it is fucose in case of fucose the formula is like or the empirical formula is like c6h12o5 which do not follow the rule like the presence of carbon hydrogen and oxygen as 1 is to 2 is to 1 is it clear also this empirical formula do not follow the rule the presence of h and o as 2 is to 1 whereas in case of some non carbohydrate compounds these are lactic acid formaldehyde and acetic acid whose empirical formula is c3h6o3 CH2O and C2H4O2 which follows these rules which follows these rules but they are not carbohydrates in view of these examples we cannot say 
that carbohydrates are the compounds which are composed of carbon hydrogen and oxygen in which the carbon hydrogen and oxygen will remain in a ratio of 1 is to 2 is to 1 or it is also not okay to say the compound contains carbohydrate or carbohydrate containing compound in which the hydrogen and oxygen will remain as a water or in a ratio of 2 is to 1. This is not okay. So proper definition is the actual definition of carbohydrate will be that the optically active polyhydroxy aldehydes or polyhydroxy ketones. The compounds which are optically active and the compounds are polyhydroxy aldehyde or polyhydroxy ketones. So what is optically active means here? Optically active means any compound which can deviate the vibration of light. Optically active compounds are the compounds which can deviate the vibrations of light. When we are saying that polyhydroxy aldehyde or polyhydroxy ketones, so first go for these terms. What are these aldehydes and ketones? These are the functional groups. These are the functional groups. So what are functional groups here? Which actually defines the chemical nature of the whole compound. Which actually defines the chemical nature of whole compound compound and what is this polyhydroxy here polyhydroxy here re, uh, says that the compound will contain two or more than oh group two or more the mm, two or more oh group hydroxy we all know that hydroxy group is as oh group aldehyde single bond cho and ketones like R, C, double bond O, R prime. So these are the chemical nature which defines the chemical nature of the compound whether the carbohydrate is aldehydic in nature or ketone in nature and the compound must contain two or more OH group in it. So, let's see an example upon uh, depending upon this definition. If we see the example of a carbohydrate, a common carbohydrate is glucose. We all know from uh, the earlier uh, level of uh, our schooling, that is class 6. A class 6 student can say that an example of carbohydrate is glucose. So, if we see the glucose here, you can see the functional group, at least one functional group in carbohydrate. And more than two hydroxyl groups are present here. In case of carbohydrate, there are five hydroxyl groups. If we see the simplest carbohydrate, if we see the simplest carbohydrate containing three carbon only, then also, if we see the uh, simplest carbohydrate containing three carbon atom, in this example, we will also see that the presence of two or more ox, uh, hydroxyl group and at least one functional group that is aldehyde or ketone. Just uh, take example as aldehyde, three carbon compound. Okay, aldehyde, three carbon compound is example. Well, another example of carbohydrate, the simplest carbohydrate is glyceraldehyde in which you can see that at least one functional group is present here this CHO aldehyde group and two at least two OH group hydroxyl group is also present here that's all for this video lecture in the next video we'll see different types of we'll discuss about different types of carbohydrates monosaccharides oligosaccharides poly polysaccharides how monosaccharides are uh, formed or how monosacc uh, two or more monosaccharides uh, combine with each other what is the bond how what is the reaction between them and uh, if you like the video please do comment your comments are highly appreciated and uh, I must tell you that this is my first video if I look nervous to you people so pardon me and uh, thank you very much see you in the next video